It seems promoter Eddie Hearn believes the possible fight between Munguia and Canelo has all the makings of a competitive one. He recently spoke about how Munguia's youth and desire are two big factors that enable him to challenge Canelo. While he admits Canelo has the technical edge and experience, Munguia's age and hunger could see him provide a stern test. Here's what he had to say about the possible fight. First of all, what did Eddie Hearn have to say about Jamie Munguia? Well, he made it clear that despite his technical deficiencies and lack of high-level experience compared to Canelo, Munguia has the equalizer of youth on his side at just 27 years old. Hearn pointed out that Munguia's record currently stands at a remarkable 43 wins and no losses, with 34 of those victories coming via knockout. So although he still has holes in his game that a master technician like Canelo would look to exploit, his power and finishing instincts ensure he is a threat. The way Hearn sees it, Munguia will bring boatloads of energy and desire into a fight with Canelo. He says that at this stage of his legendary career, Canelo is neither young nor fresh anymore as he approaches his mid-30s. So Munguia can use his young legs and intensity to push Canelo in ways we haven't seen for a while now. Hearn capped off his praise for Munguia, saying he absolutely has the heart to give Canelo a war. He will throw heavy leather relentlessly and make Canelo work hard all night long, ensuring an entertaining clash for the fans. Now that we have heard Eddie Hearn's perspective on Munguia and how he stacks against Canelo, let's break things down stylistically and look at their experience. Offensively, there is no question Canelo is by some margin the superior technician out of the two. He holds edges in timing, accuracy, combination punching, and having more weapons at his disposal. Munguia, by contrast, is rather crude, relying on athleticism and brute force rather than technique. Defensively, Canelo's tight guard and precise head movement again far outweigh anything in Munguia's arsenal. Munguia is fairly hittable and often resorts to simply covering up rather than avoiding shots altogether. So Canelo would definitely find openings to land cleanly. From an experience standpoint, this fight would be a massive step up in class for Munguia. Canelo has been operating at an elite championship level for over a decade now. Munguia is still young and hasn't gotten many tough learning fights under his belt yet, so he would come in as a considerable underdog. While the tail of the tape might indicate a mismatch on paper, Munguia's biggest assets could well see him remain competitive with Canelo and ask difficult questions of the pound-for-pound -pound king. Again, his high-energy style and relentless pressure fighting could push Canelo much harder than the likes of Callum Smith, Avni Yildirim, or Caleb Plant as of late. Those fights proved rather easy for Canelo over the second half. But Munguia would almost certainly match whatever pace Canelo wants to fight at. Canelo hasn't had a younger, stronger guy in his prime continuously on his chest, trying to bully him for a full 12 rounds in quite a while. Of course, Canelo still has the skill set to control the action, counter effectively and find openings. But if Munguia manages to land his thudding shots to Canelo's body and back him up occasionally, it would sure make things interesting. The Mexican crowd would also quickly get behind their young countrymen, energizing Munguia further to take the fight to Canelo. So in many ways, this fight could be the toughest test Canelo has faced in years. Overall, I am anticipating a major action fight between Canelo and Munguia that will have fans enthralled. While recognized Canelo has clear technical and experience edges that rightly make him a sizable favorite, I don't expect this to be an easy night for him whatsoever. Munguia hits hard enough to gain respect and his relentless pressure is bound to catch the judge's eyes, even if Canelo consistently outlands him. I envision several close back-and-forth rounds where Munguia's aggression and determination will give Canelo problems at times. In the end, though, Canelo should take over in the mid to late going as Munguia begins to tire from the relentless pace. Canelo's counters and bodywork will further slow him, allowing Canelo to pull away down the stretch for a close decision win. But Munguia's spirited effort would gain him an even bigger profile and set up potential super fights with the likes of David Benavidez or Jermal Charlo down the track. The young power puncher Munguia recently destroyed John Ryder in impressive fashion, showcasing the offensive talent that has many calling for him to face Canelo next. But not everyone is convinced. Two of the sharpest minds in boxing, Holly Malignaghi and Timothy Bradley, 
have questioned whether Munguia could actually hang with an elite technician like Canelo over 12 rounds. Starting with Pauli Malignaghi, he doesn't believe this fight will actually happen. His rationale is that Canelo has historically been unwilling to face his fellow Mexican counterparts. Outside of faded versions of Angulo and Chavez Jr., Canelo has steered clear of them over his career. So in that context, Malignaghi sees top young talent like Munguia as an unlikely opponent choice. Pauli also noted that while Munguia has entered the conversation after his recent KO win, David Benavidez remains the most deserving challenger for Canelo right now. So in his view, it probably comes down to either Munguia or Benavidez, not both. And if forced to pick one, Malignaghi would lean towards Benavidez getting the Cinco de Mayo date with Canelo. Switching focus to Timothy Bradley's perspective, his worry mainly lies with how sustainable Munguia's pressure fighting style would be against a sharp counterpuncher like Canelo. He pointed out that Munguia has defensive holes and got hit plenty by Ryder despite dominating. Against a truly elite operator like Canelo, those offensive mistakes would result in heavier return fire that adds up over time. While commending Munguia's incredible punch volume, endless energy and warrior mentality as definite assets, Bradley doesn't believe it would compensate enough against Canelo's far superior technique and ring IQ. He feels Canelo would clinically break Munguia down and eventually score an impressive stoppage win if they fought right now, capitalizing on the mistakes an aggressive but defensively open Munguia would inevitably make. Analyzing this potential matchup myself, I think both Pauli and Tim make very fair points. There are indeed some question marks about whether Munguia could sustain his ultra-aggressive style without getting countered into oblivion by a master chess player like Canelo. But with that said, could Munguia's sheer intensity, physicality, and high-volume punching pose issues for even an elite operator like Canelo in the early going? I believe so. Canelo has struggled in the past with opponents that come right at him, push the pace in flurry combinations with little regard for defense. We saw Lara and Mayweather both find success early using that blueprint. Now I understand Munguia is obviously crude compared to those two, but in terms of applying educated pressure, throwing fluid combos and simply having an engine that doesn't stop, he does share some similarities. My feeling is the opening four to five rounds could be extremely interesting. If Munguia comes out guns blazing, instantly looks to close distance and gets off sharp power punching combinations, I think he can give Canelo problems. There's a real chance he could steal early momentum and take an initial lead by just simply doing more over the first third of the fight. However, this is where the stamina, defensive, and experience factors that Bradley highlighted would undoubtedly come into play. Could Munguia sustain that relentless aggression both physically and tactically as the fight wears deeper without running into heavy Canelo counters? Very questionable. By round 6, 7, 8, I'd expect Canelo to have fully downloaded Munguia's rhythms and patterns. With Munguia's work rate lowered and defensive holes now glaringly obvious, Canelo would likely take over with pinpoint power counters to sweep the middle to late stanzas. I think Munguia has the capability to make things awfully interesting if he just blitzes Canelo from the opening bell and actually gains an early edge similar to what Lara and Mayweather did. It wouldn't totally shock me if he finds himself up 4-1 or even 5-0 through the first handful of rounds. However, the gulf in class and experience would shine through as the fight progresses. I envision Canelo methodically chipping away at a tiring Munguia from round 6 onwards before scoring a late TKO somewhere in the final third of the fight when Munguia's work rate drops and defensively holes are ripe for the taking. Munguia would come out all guns blazing, have some strong moments early, but ultimately succumb to Canelo's superior skill set and ring mastery later on. Competitive, but a clear Canelo win. Thanks so much for watching. Please smash the like button and subscribe for more boxing talk. See you soon.